When we began this journey many years ago, we were just trying to see if we could help one scientist learn one thing. And then we began to learn that we could have a greater impact than that. We began to learn that we needed to help all of the scientists learn as many things as they can, no matter what institution they come from. So when you look at a trip like this, you see the University of Massachusetts, uh, you see TURN, and I think back in the day, we never ever dreamed that we would be helping the Galapagos National Park and the Charles Darwin Foundation. To work together with different institutions is very helpful to understand better about the uh, shark behaviors in the Galapagos Marine Reserves. I find that my whole job here has been two very intense minutes of surgery with, you know, and a lot of time waiting around and you guys are out there doing, you know, all the hard work. Water flowing out of the hills, good. We've managed to tag over 65 individuals from nine different species. And it surpassed anything we've ever done here before. This, there's not a new project for Galapagos. Like I said, we've been doing this for eight years, but nothing on this scale. Okay, go to work. The silky shark is one of the most heavily fished sharks in this entire region. Female, huh? And that's why it's so important that we've tagged them at Cocos, at Rivier Higedos, and now a whole bunch here too, so we can understand how the marine reserves are going to protect the species. We've tagged nine silky sharks. We've tagged the first ever tuna in the marine reserve. They're so important because they're being fished outside and inside. We don't even know how the marine reserve is protecting them. We've tagged 10 wahoo, they're such an important species locally. We've tagged 10 skipjack and 10 rainbow runners, they're kind of lower down the food chain. No one really understands what they're doing. Punta Negra numero tres. We've helped students here work on a black tip project. Nice job, Caesar. We'll name the shark Floriana after one of the islands here in the Galapagos, an island that is the home of Mr. Felipe Cruz of the Darwin Foundation, a man who is instrumental in getting this collaborative project out on the water. Taking way strong, nice job. And then the tiger sharks rolled in. He's turning on you. Okay, he's eating it, he's eating it. Go, 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 go. What a conclusion to the expedition. It was one of the primary purposes for us coming to the Galapagos Islands is to leverage the lift to be able to pick up these larger sharks for the science team here at the Galapagos Islands and the Darwin Foundation. It was a historic moment when we spot tagged that first tiger shark, got a blood sample from that first tiger shark, put an internal acoustic tag in it, and it was on the last day when we were finally located and able to capture those four female tiger sharks. Which really was a historic moment in the Galapagos Islands, something that's never occurred and certainly something that will enhance our capacity to look after its future. Good girl there, Lana. And then the most amazing thing has been finding the, the juvenile hammerheads. Are you going to be able to get the acoustic on there? That. That's a 10 year tag. We're going to get long term movement pattern and really understand how we're protecting them. Good luck, old girl. Oh, she looked good. Nice job on the hammerhead board. This is going to be a great start to figuring out their movements. So I think as we evolve to try to bring the whole ocean into children's lives, this has been an enormously symbolic trip. We are committed to the ocean, and the ocean always comes first, even before ourselves.